Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about ideas to personalize your planner. This video is just basically gonna be about ways to take a store-bought, off-the-shelf planner and kind of make it your own, make it fun and functional for you. We will be talking about mostly things that apply to disc-bound planners, but there are gonna be things that can also cross over and apply to not only um, like happy planners, but also Erin Condren, spiral bound, um, hard bound, also ring bound planners. So there's a little bit of something in here for everyone. If you're just trying to get your planner where you want it to be, where you're just happy with it and you just give you some ideas for making it your own. So that said, let's get started. Okay, so the first idea is talking about covers and how to make your cover more personalized to you. So there are a few options here I'm showing you guys, but the first option I wanna discuss are plastic laminated covers. Covers where you can put a design, a custom design inside. You know, just make a visual impact for you as you see your planner, make it feel like it's your own. There are obviously many different options for both the spiral bound and the disc bound planner, which I use. And so you can easily take covers on and off both of those and create your own custom planner. This one is for an Erin Contran that I used to have a few years back and I was able to even put my name on it. So it really kind of helps you um, connect with your planner right away visually. So plastic covers are great for that. There's also hardbound, which I'm not too familiar with the options that might be available outside of the Happy Planner, but hardbound covers are really good for protecting your planner. So this one actually snaps into the rings, and I'm wondering if there is something like this in Erin Condren, um, but if there is, it's a great way to protect your planner, like I said. If you're traveling with your planner a lot, sticking it in and out of your bag, it's a, um, an option for you know, protecting your planner, making sure that the pages don't get all crumpled up and things like that. So hardbound is really, or hard covers are really great. And then finally, there are deluxe covers or wraparound covers. Ring bound planners are very familiar with these because most of the ring bound planners come in a cover similar to this. However, the rings are usually permanently glued or tacked down to the center here. So this is where your planner guts go and it's this is your cover. This guy here is actually an accessory to a planner. So if I had wanted to put in an Erin Condren style spiral bound or another disc bound, this one can actually just be slid in and out and um, no one's the wiser. You slide it in and it's part of your of your planner now but if you don't want it the next day you can just easily take your planner out and you're good to go. These are great again for protection of your planner um, kind of keeping it together as a packet. I liked that feel I used to have my home management planner inside of this cover and it was really nice because there was a lot in there and I just liked having it all kind of together and clean looking on the outside. It wasn't a lot of visual clutter so that is great for that. Plus you get the added bonus of some extra pockets and also um, like a folder area. So if you need to stick in some extra papers or loose leaf stuff, you have that option as well as a pin loop that comes with it and the closure. So um, pretty much all the ring bound planners that I've seen have this and there's different options and colors and patterns on the outside as well as like designer versions, things like that for certain sizes. So um, lots of options there, but it's a great way to kind of just immediately call a planner your own, like to put your personal stamp on it is your cover. Next, we're gonna talk about the spine or the binding. Again, I've kind of discussed the different types of options there are for a planner. If you have a spiral bound, there's lots of different colors you can choose, um, usually like silver or rose gold or um, you know regular gold or there's different options there. 
in the disc planning world, there's also a lot of options. We've got not only um, metal or plastic discs, but also metal discs in different colors and shapes and also in different sizes for the thickness that you want for your planner. Um, the ones I'm showing here for disc bound planners have, um, this is like the classic size and this is the mini size and it's also you can kind of see the variation there with this one's got kind of like a clear plasticky tone. This is just a, a thick opaque tone. There's also the ring bound, uh, not ring bound, the gold metallic discs that I also love. Um, these are really great and really durable and they also, um, again on sizes, there's also a larger size or like an expander disc size. Here's one in the gold so you can kind of see a little better. But yeah, so if you needed to increase the size of your planner and give yourself a little bit more room, there are options there. So two um, or three different sizes for disc mount planners, at least that I know of. I know that, that they sell those in other sizes through other planners like Arc Planner or Tool or, uh, I don't know, I say Tool, but I don't know how to pronounce it, T-U-L, um, those type of planners. So the discs very out there and you can also pick up discs on Etsy if you really just want to start from scratch and customize your planner from scratch. So ways to customize the look of it. This will look very different with plastic discs. It'll also look different with different colors, but you can also mismatch colors and add, you know, it doesn't always have to be the same color. You can vary it out. That's one of the great things about the disc system. You can really customize it to your own liking. So that is the second thing I wanted to talk about for personalizing your planner. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is folders and how those can also add a bit of personalization to your planner. These are store-bought, ready-to-go folders that you can add in to a disbound planner. There are also ones that are available like at Staples and stuff that aren't quite as colorful if you want a little more professional look. But these are really great for actually storing things in your planner but also giving you a little bit of extra visual interest and making it a little bit more customized. These are some examples of ones that I have on hand that are currently not being used. But yeah, so just putting one of these guys in your planner is great. Uh, these can be added in to obviously ring bound planners. I'm not sure how these work in an Erin Condren or a spiral bound planner, but there are ways to create folders for your planner and make them work. The way I can think of right off the top of the bat for spiral bound are using things like these. So I know for Erin Condren, uh, back in the day, they used to have these little plastic add-ons so all you would do is if you had a folder that you wanted to stick in you would just stick this part to one side and then you'd break it off and then the other one would stick into your spiral bound it would hold it in so you could use just one or two maybe it would be good for like a folder or even three I'm not sure if they still have something like this or if it's a little bit better now but um, so there's ways to create one and then put it in or stick one that pre-exists and stick it into a spiral bound. Here is one that I actually created myself for my recipe planner. So you can even create one that you use not too hard, just using some scratch paper. There's plenty of tutorials online, that's the word I was looking for, if you want to create your own. And you can do this for ring binders as well, create your own. You can make them even custom where they fold out again and you've got two sides or, you know, you could really do it up. So adding a folder is a great way to customize it, but also keep functionality in your planner. So that is my next tip. My next tip is adding in dividers. Now, dividers are available off the shelf for disc bound planners. I know that anywhere where you can get a disc bound planner, they usually have options for dividers. These ones, again, are from the Happy Planner, but there are different options for you know, multitudes of places. Dividers are a great way to customize the look of your planner and kind of start to make it feel like your own. 
you can do so many different things. But here's an example of some store-bought dividers that you could just easily stick in. Great for dismount um, or even like ring bound. These, these work great uh, as far as you know, just sticking them in. They're already pre-made, they already got the tabs and all you gotta do is label them to your liking. You can also create your own dividers, which I've done here. These ones are completely homemade from some stock paper, which I am not currently using. I have some other ones in here, but basically I just cut it out to the way that I wanted it with the, the tabs and completely customized to my planner, punched them. There you go. So these are great for if you don't have a system where you have dividers that you like or that you are not in love with what's available out there and you want to create something that's completely personal to you, making some tab dividers are a really great way to do that. These ones too I made from cardstock, but basically this is my recipe planner and I wanted everything to be kind of food related and I didn't see anything that I liked for these. So just using a piece of cardstock really um, helps kind of, I'm sorry, it's kind of a mess in here. Um, and they were just white on the back. So just kind of makes it feel more like a food centered planner to me, which I really liked that option and having dividers are really helpful for me in this planner. So just customizing your planner through dividers is a great way to do it. Also, if you don't have a way to actually insert dividers, like physical dividers, there's also ways that you can add in tabs. So I have a tab here for my stickies that I kind of use at the top, but they sell these in um, different craft stores. And I think that they also sell these um, both online and just there's ways to find these little divider tabs. These can easily be stuck into a bullet journal. Um, so you can tab out your bullet journal in a similar way, or you could stick them here on the top if you want a top tab. You just add them to any page that you want, any piece of cardstock that you want, and just make your own dividers that way. So really great tip is to get some of these little kind of sticky divider tab style and create dividers for yourself. It'll make it more functional, but also it's gonna make it more personalized to you. It's not gonna be just the off the shelf. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about are like bookmarks and dashboards, using those to personalize your planner. Um, so again, starting with the Disbound system, because that's the one I'm most familiar with, they have a lot of options as far as tabs that you can stick in um, for the top tabs here, like this little mini dashboard and different styles, flavors, and they're just, you know, they're available in all sizes. So they're really great for dividing up your planner, but also giving it a little bit of a personal touch so you can get a little visual fun with your functionality. You know, I get a lot of questions about the way that I have mine organized. I have a bunch of these tabs set up in my planner. So um, these are dashboards, but there's also some that are like half size, which I think I can pull one and show you. So, and then this is like a bookmark size. But yeah, so there's a lot of options for putting in dashboards with different styles and things to make it your own. I know they have these for disbound planners. They have them that are just completely clear and just very, you know, simplified. I've seen those on Etsy. Those are great if you, again, want a more professional look or if you just like that neutral, like no frills look. Again, that's still a way to personalize your planner. You're just trying to create something that feels right for you and brings you joy when you step in your planner. There's also, um, you know, if you got clear ones, sticking in something behind it to make it, you know, some kind of insert or some quote or something that, kind of like you're seeing here, but obviously if this was clear, it'd be a little bit better to see, but doing something, and if you did like a full page one, is a way to kind of just define a section and also again give you something personal back from the addition of that. So that's another way to personalize your planner, adding in bookmarks and or dashboards. 
throughout your planner where you need them in order to both make it fun and functional. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about one of the last more organizational style of personalizations that you can do, which is adding in a pocket. Now, the pockets that I've shown here are pretty simplified. This one is an, an insert pocket, so you can actually take it in and out of the planner. You know, this one has a nice customization to it. It's got a design, so it obviously that's a little bit way, a little way to personalize your planner. Also, what you stick in it can be a personalization. So, um, like here, although my sticker is upside down, sticking in stickers or something inside of it. This one is more like a pencil pouch style, so it's perfectly clear, but um, this is a, another type of pocket you can add in for a way to personalize it. Here is another type of pocket similar to those that I kind of DIY'd. It's very rough looking, but basically I inserted this little sheet of gold vellum, or not vellum, acetate inside of here just to add a little bit of extra personalization to it. Um, so that's another way to, to create a pocket that might be just kind of plain to begin with, but sticking things inside that bring you joy, photos, images like you saw there, uh, that's another way. Also too, you can create your own pocket. These are great for, especially for like bullet journals where you don't really have the option of sticking things inside, or if you just want like a, a pocket cover, you could do like a almost like a divider here where you do like a, a triangle and stick it down so you can stick things in or a pocket like this. And this is just a plain piece of white cardstock, but you could use any, you know, style of cardstock or what have you for personalization and then just stick it down to that front cover or back cover or divider or whatever you want to have that pocket in so that you can keep things inside. So pockets are a really great way too to personalize your planner. You have so many different options to DIY or just to buy off the shelf in certain instances. So um, highly recommend pockets as well. So the next thing I wanna talk about are sticky notes. And sticky notes are a great way to add some fun and pizzazz to your planner and also keep it functional for you. So. Um, for example, this is an off the shelf, you know, ready to go, insert it into your planner, you don't have to think about it, dashboard of stickies, so really easy, these are sold, I know, um, in similar ways from, I believe, from Erin Condren and from, like, the Arc Planner system, so those are really great. You can, um, basically just take a style that you like and stick it in and not think about it. Another way is to create your own, and you can do this by either taking like a dashboard. So, you know, let's say you purchase a dashboard, you can actually just stick those stickies down onto it uh, and then stick it in your planner if you have something like this. Um, or you could do like a little insert with cardstock, as you see I've done here. Stick your stickies on that, and then you're ready to go for use in your planner. There's also um, this one here, which is a little bit more robust. Um, and basically I put that on a piece of acetate here. But you could put this on any kind of backer that will stick for the stickies. You could also do a folding kind. So if you really need a lot of stickies in yours, you can do that. But again, a great way to personalize it. The choices that you make for your stickies are also a way to personalize it, but basically, Creating a home for sticky notes for use in your planner um, just makes it more fun and also more functional. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about are pens. A lot of planner babes like a specific type of pen and they use that solely in your planner. Um, if you like more of a pretty pen versus a functional pen, Sometimes they're both, but usually, um, you know, if you want a functional pen, you're not really caring how, how it looks, but if you want something more pretty, you can grab a pen that has a little more design to it. I've seen some really pretty ones with like, um, like the crystal rocks in it, and I think they're ballpoint, but 
Those pens are really popular, just adds that little extra glam to your planner. There's also um, pens that meet a certain need. So I had this really small, tiny micro planner and I wanted to have a pen that would work with it. And so I found this tiny one at a Daiso and it just kind of completes the look of the planner. It's like perfect. And it's also got the little tip for the phone. So it's just great for on the go and the colors are just right and the size is perfect. So it's a way to personalize your planner. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about are um, bands for your planner. Um, bands are, are a, another way that you can really personalize your planner and make it your own. I have seen you know, different colors of elastics used for kind of keeping your planner closed. This is really great for, just for any type of planner, but if you don't have a cover, like a deluxe type cover on yours, bands are a really great way to keep your planner kind of secured and pack it like without actually having a cover on top of it. So I have two kind of ones that I have available to me here, but I've seen all different colors and, and sizes and things like that for that. So you can customize them for your own or buy them off the shelf. This one here I actually made out of a headband that I used and I put it basically, I glued down one side to the inside of the planner and then um, I kind of used this to shut it up so that it's only on one side. But many people just put the whole rubber band, you know, or the elastic band all the way around. You know, it's a really, you know, easy way without any kind of functional thing to, to make a closed planner. There's also this one that I purchased, which is actually a pencil pouch um, that you know, lets you kind of go out on the go, add some pens if you want to add some highlighters or what have you, and then kind of close it up. Also, it's a band, so it will keep all your stuff together and you have it all in one. Yeah, so there's just some options there in how you secure your planner and you have the option for, you know, binding it in so many different ways. This exists for all different types of planners, so a really great way to add that extra personal touch to your planner. Next, we're gonna talk about actual like page flags or marker clips to add that personal touch to your planner. There are very different options for this. I'm sure I'm not going to exhaust all of the options available, but some of the main ones are to use binder clips this one here is a binder clip, which is great for holding like a section of your planner together. This is great for all planners, especially like if you're a bullet journaler or someone who has used a piece, you know, a section of your planner and you won't be really turning back to it frequently, but you go right to where you need to be next. These are great, holds the pages together. Um, here's a, a gold one just kind of showing you like let's say you had a couple of months in your planner and you were done with those months and you just wanted it all to be kind of closed in together you could easily use a clip for that you could also use it to stick something in that you um, you know like if you had an insert or something and you didn't have a way to bind it in you easily just use the clip to stick it in and there you go so binder clips are one way to use that to, to denote certain pages and kind of organize your system to your liking, but with a little bit of visual flair and creativity. There's also these magnetic ones that I'm showing you here, which are great for holding a couple of pages together, but also adding that pattern or color that you might want in your planner just for another added visual interest. I actually picked these guys up um, totally didn't need them, but I was in love with the colors and the patterns on the bookmarks, so these are really great for that. There's also paperclip style of page flags. These are good for kind of marking your place in your planner, finding where you are, um, and there's so many different options. This one's got a lot of little flair, but I've seen them with like cute sayings and like little plastic, I don't know, 
anything. You could kind of create like a shrinky dink version if you wanted to. So lots of ways to customize these. Stick them in and um, use them to mark your place in your planner so you know right where to turn without having too much trouble. And they can also add that visual flair on the top because even when your planner is closed, you can see them so you can add some, you know, just your own little personal touch all the way across the top if you wanted to, depending on how you're using them. And lastly, we're going to talk about charms. I'm not too much of a planner charm girl, but I do have one on my little mini planner here, so I can show you a way to use them. Um, I had this little flamingo from, I don't know, something I had bought, and I just thought it would be really cute as a charm on this planner, so I added it on. These exist, they're charms everywhere, so little powder puffs, things like you would put on your keychain to add a little flair. This is also a way to do that so like I said it can be anything just adding a little bit of like jewelry to your planner is kind of what a charm is so that's an awesome way also to personalize your planner make it your own kind of give it a little flair okay you guys so those are my tips for personalizing your planner hopefully you guys got some maybe new ideas that you hadn't thought of um, or just, you know, maybe kind of incentivized you to do more with your planner, make it more personal to you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.